family, you know, that's what I've learned that uh, Buffalo's your family, you know, it doesn't matter where you're from, what color you are, or anything, uh, just your family. You know? uh, it's been a great honor to play as a Colorado Buffalo. I mean, Buffalo's all about pride and tradition and um, blue collar attitude, and we're just going to attack you and never give up. So, realizing and knowing and feeling the tradition around this place. Um, knowing the, the support and the, the people who have come and gone here before me. You know, it's a, it's a program with great tradition and I know living so close, I always grew up watching these guys on TV, you know, in, in the big moments and just to be a part of that was really special throughout my career. Incredible. And, and I know. knew I wanted to be a part of that. I knew I wanted to be a part of something special. And I knew I could find that here and as soon as I came up here, I fell in love with this place. Here, every uh, I've been able to, to reach all my goals that I set forth uh, before and during my years here and uh, I can't I couldn't ask for anything better. I mean I've enjoyed everything I mean the ups and the downs but I've definitely enjoyed going out and playing against some of the top players in the country I mean you watch uh, teams in the NFL you can say hey I used to play that guy. <laughs> so uh, The ties you make and the friends you make and the connections you make will so are something that you carry with you for the rest of your life so for me it's uh it's a huge thing it's to be a part of the, the Buffalo family is a big part of my life, it's something I always wanted to do. Yeah, you know, it's every 12 year old's dream to play on Saturdays and uh, you know, run behind Ralphie and, and it really is something special. I mean, you see it on TV when you're growing up and you know, you just always wanted to be a part of something like that and as you got older, you strive for it and, and it was just a great experience for me. I mean, it's been my dream since I was little because my dad played here and so, you know, I, I've been coming to games since I was like three and so, I've known what, what Buffalo Pride is about since my whole life, and I mean, it's just been a dream come true to be able to fulfill it, fulfill this dream. And People don't realize that, you know, there's a great tradition here and that, you know, it goes back years and years of, of great players and, and things like that, so it's, it's, it's been awesome. good. Um, it's awesome. Being a Colorado guy, um, you know, during my recruiting, there's no other place that I'd want to be. It's a no-brainer um, to come here and, and be a buff and, and it's something. I'll be about for the rest of my life. From what, from what I learned my four years here, it's been passion, pride, and heart. I mean, you see these guys sweat day in and day out, and the, the, everything they do is with passion and with heart. And, and if you don't, you're not a true Buffalo. You know, they're a great bunch of guys. You know, we're a real diverse bunch. You know, you got guys from everywhere, and you know, we just all mix together in real way. Well. I, I came in as a uh, transferred from Western Michigan and I uh, was here for two years but they accepted me um, like brothers and just accepted me just like everyone else and um, I love them. The time you spend with your teammates away from the football field is by far uh, where most of your memories come from. We call them the guys but they're definitely guys but I call them my brothers. You know my, these last four years here I've you know learned a lot from them. I've gained a lot of knowledge from them and you know, they've been there. They've been there through everything. And, you know, the camaraderie I have with these guys is the best feeling I've ever had. And, and it's just awesome to be around a bunch of guys. And they're my brothers. They'll be my brothers for life. And for everything I've gone, gone through, they'll be there. And it, this relationship won't end. You know, some of you guys I won't see, but I still love but, it. I still you know, I've met some of the most amazing people and the best friends I, I've ever met up here. And, uh, you know, I, I think that's really what this place is about. It's a lot, man. You know, some of us yeah, become brothers, you know more close than others, but here, you know, I, I felt the love from everybody, you know, it was real cool all the years I've been here, you know, and it got better every every year since I've been here, you know, this team, matter of fact, has been, I felt the closest to uh, since I've been here, you know. Everybody. The time, the, the things that I've learned from the offensive line are things that you will carry on with you for the rest of your life and friendships that you'll have forever, and I truly um, will cherish the, the bonds, the relationships that I form with those guys, and, uh, you know, I love y'all a lot, man. So. People always say that the offensive line is a different group, and it's true. I mean, we're, we're different, and all, we smell, we fart, we, you know, we, we burp, we, we do it all. But, uh, you know, <laughs> it, it, we're a fun group, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to remember everyone. Um, I think these are guys that I'll keep in touch with for the rest of my life. I mean, sure, you know, I'll lose touch along the way a little bit, but, uh, you know, they'll always be in my heart. Uh, good friends of mine, especially the running back crew. We, we all became real close over the past three years that I've been here. And uh, the fullbacks, uh, best of friends, and uh, I'll see them at my wedding, so. I know I was talking with uh, other guys earlier, and this was, you know, by far one of the most fun years of athletics I've ever had. One of the closest teams I've ever been on, and, you know, that's what I'm gonna miss most about this whole thing, is being around the guys and, 
you know, um, hanging out with them before and after practice, off the field. You know, we finally, finally come to the end, but I mean, I, those are lifelong friends that I'm gonna have. Those are guys that I'm gonna be checking up on all the time. Those are guys that I'm gonna make sure I stay in, in touch with. Uh, and then even my so first guy here, of course, Bobby. Uh, Bobby was, was my guy that uh, I looked up to, and he taught me many things and, and uh, how to be a buff. And uh, of course, uh, Walter Bordeaux, uh, we grew up together at home, and it was great spending uh, the three years with him uh, whenever he was here. I, I've been so blessed to experience this because uh, the guys on this team are, are so amazing. You know, guys like Edwin and, and Dusty and Tyson, and I, I mean, those are all going to be lifelong friends of mine. I'll probably never experience another th anything else like it. It's, it's, been a, it's been something special, you know. There's, this is, especially this team, this is probably the tightest team I've ever been on. Like with this close, well knit, so um, it, it's been special. You know? Talk about going to work with some cool guys. Um, there's some awesome guys on this team, and we've been through good times, bad times, and that's really what, what's made us what, how we are. And uh, it's been an awesome ride, and uh, it's friendships and bonds that, that you can't develop anywhere else, and, and the things that we've been through have, have uh, really brought us together. And so I really appreciate everything those guys have done for me and, and done for this program. The relationships that you build here are ones that will last you a lifetime. And so, you know, to never let go of those and never forget those people that you meet here and the, and the, and the friendships that you make here because, you know, you know, them, you know, a lot of the cats that you went to school, high school with, you know, you probably never talk to again, but, you know, the guy you lined up with, you know, every day at practice and in games here at CU is the guy who's going, you know, you're going to invite to your wedding, the guy who's going to be your best man. So, you know, just, just cherish these moments and cherish the friendships that you make um, because, you know, it, it's, it is what truly makes the experience.